I grew up on the land, on a small farm in northeast Iowa. I felt that families on the lands needed help from scientists, and I dedicated my life to science. The first and foremost problem in this crowded and overcrowded world is one of food. And the magnitude of the problem that confronts us is fantastic and frightening. In many parts of the world, yields are very low. We cannot continue to ignore this problem of food. Food distribution is of prime importance to solving human problems. How do we draw attention to its importance? It has to come from within. And I am not one to sit idly by and see man increasing his numbers faster than food production. I am not one to sit idly by. If I have anything to contribute to this world, I'm going to play that card and play it hard. When I know that our scientific facts are right, I'm going to play that card and play it hard. We must continue to improve our technology if we are to keep pace with this growing demand for food if we are to have a stable world. The good farmer is the person who can put all the pieces together. It starts with production. Then you have to have the variety. Proper time of preparation of the land for planting. It must be executed by people who have the motivation. Plants talk to you. They tell you whether they're healthy, whether they're happy, and the way they grow and develop is an outward manifestation of this. The plants will talk in a quite intelligent voice. A quite intelligent voice. You have to live with them. You have to feel their pulse. This is very critical. This is very critical. Look what happened to the dinosaur. When he lost his ability to change, he became obsolete. Is this the destiny of the human species? And I am not one to sit idly by and see man increasing his numbers faster than food production. I am not one to sit idly by. If I have anything to contribute to this world, I'm going to play that card and play it hard. When I know that our scientific facts are right, I'm going to play that card and play it hard. It is my hope that all who are born into this world, we can provide with the basic necessities for a decent, humane life. And this seems to be urgent to me, to try to help in some small, modest sort of way. We might be surprised how much we could improve the environment. environment.